My day starts at 6.30 a.m. I wake up every day and dress for my role as CEO. My routine, my life, my business. Served me well for 31 years. They retired me today. What? Yes. Oh, Christ. Okay, I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown. I have a little token of appreciation for my brother. Oh, mother of God, oh! what is that? Oh. Can you really, Elise, what the hell are you thinking? But you're a middle-aged man who lives alone and could use a little regular companionship. Irene, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> I'm serious, Elise, I did not appreciate that setup with Irene last night. Right, just listen to me, Paul. I love you madly, but this is enough. That you cannot live alone forever, it is simply not practical. You need to marry Irene. Your mother can be a little difficult sometimes. Oh, well. Brian is in town and he didn't call me. I, I, I swear, I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown. She has this picture in her head of what, what she thinks I'm supposed to be, what she thinks is socially acceptable. <gasps> oh my God, it's your kid? Your kid is gay? Oh my God, that is fabulous. And I guess I've always suspected that he was, you know, Gay. I'm Andy. Th this is Bean. He's kind of a snob, but he plays well with others. Paul Greco. Paul. Paul Greco. You're, you're sweet and you're, you're handsome. It's just that, you know, you're, you know. What? Hello? Straight. <laughs> That's true. Honey, don't you see? There is something wrong with every man that you meet. And I'm not sure what it's going to take for you to meet Mr. Wright, but it's certainly not going to be Mr. Straight. I find this behavior extremely confusing. Confusing? Well, that seems to be the prevailing sentiment. I sure as shit don't know what happens next. Well, that makes two of us. 